Shoulder Anatomy 101. On the front here, we have the sternum. We have the pec major with a cutout, kind of like a shark bit off half of it so that you can see underneath where we have the pec minor. We have the clavicle here. We have some of the ribs and the intercostal muscles in between them. From the side view, we have the deltoid with a cutout, just like shark took a bite. So you can see what's underneath it. We have the supraspinatus here. We have your clavicle on the front here. This is the AC joint, a common area of injury. You have the acromion on the back that comes into that AC joint, acromion, clavicle, joint. On the front we have the coracoid process and then that pec minor attaches into that. If the pec minor is really tight, it can actually pull your shoulders forward. From the back side, we have the latissimus dorsi, dorsi, the trapezius, but both of them are cut out. So this is just the lower trap here and you can see where it's cut out so that we can see what's underneath it. Same thing with the lat, it's cut out so it ends right here so that we can see what's underneath it. The rhomboid next, the rhomboid does this. So we have the rhomboid minor, rhomboid major, and you can see the little attachment of it down here as well. So that is attaching your spine to your scapula. That's what this is here. This is the outline of the borders of your scapula, also known as your shoulder blade. We have the infraspinatus, teres minor, and teres major here with a little bit of shadowing over them. We have the levator scapulae, which attaches to the scapula and the spine here. That's that muscle that feels real good when your partner reps it. 